Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the BMW X5 E70. The external like George's body is well cut and expensive. Expensive is not only about the quality of painting and the materials used, but also about the price of components and work. A lot of expensive decorative elements are very high quality fit on the f of the panels, beautiful design moves like the front fenders turning into the bumper greatly increase the chaos of any repair in any contact of the car with the surrounding rough reality. Below the car is a bunch of plastic elements that break perfectly when trying to frolic off-road and storm curves. You cannot look for corrosion, unlike competitors from Mercedes, the Bavarians are doing well with this at this age. Even broken copies of clear indications of poor quality body repair in the form of paint swells will not help since the front bumper and fenders are plastic. Surprisingly, even taking into account parking sensors in a circle, there were enough broken cars. A family car with such a chassis provokes enough drivers very much, and even a feeling of false safety in a tall car effects. The salon and its equipment remind of themselves more and more over the years. There were many complaints about peeling wood and carbon panel inserts, there is a fairly common problem of for styling cars. Soft door handles are consumable if a woman with a manicure drives a car. But the seats and the steering wheel usually hold for a long time, unless the electric adjustment drives fail. Multimedia system malfunctions are a separate topic. iDrive updates have long been a sport of their own of BMW owners. Here you either need to be aware of updates and changes yourself or have a proven master. How to update navigations of abstract FSD codes? All this is on the special forums of the model. Failures on this part on older machines are increasing. In addition to the already described silent problems in electronics, one can expect failures of the mechatronic feeling of the machine. Many functions in the new BMWs have been brought to life by bringing electronic components to places you might not expect to see, in the chassis and steering in particular. Adjustable anti-roll bars, smart chassis, pneumatics, active steering, front axle drive, electric fusion couplings, adaptive headlights. All these components include gearboxes, electric motors, solenoids, valves, and all this wears out. The components of the wiring under the body and in bumpers, the wiring of the parking sensors, however it often breaks down in the in-car harness, suspension sensors, adaptive lighting and brakes also suffer greatly from our assault to winter. Suspensions of the key can tire due to failures of one of the components on it are frequent, especially the parking sensors differ in this. There is also co-housing. Often there are proposals to replace the connectors of the ultrasonic sensors of the parking sensors with components from the engines. ZMZ. Even though the wiring here is of high quality, not like Volkswagen's on the PQ35, there are enough purely resource problems. Everything rarely fails at once, but the older the car, the more blocks will need either repair or replacement, or here a lot depends on the qualifications of the master and the wishes of the owner. Often the method of repairing the unit has been worked out, as in the case of replacing the plastic gears of the transfer case drive, but most of the components are replaced with new ones. The engine compartment wiring and sensors on petrol engines are at risk because the temperature is very high. Especially in Lucky where the N63 series gasoline supercharged V8s, their exhaust pipes pass exactly behind the engine, hitting the already heated harness of the engine shield. The electric pumps and electric springs on the cooling system also have a finite resource, but they appeared only after restyling, and so far problems with them rarely arise. But there were already failures, which means that the resource of these models is also limited. On average, problems do not arise very often, but the cost of the solution often makes you wonder about the meaning of the buying premium used car in general. The brakes on the X5 are great from every angle, they work very well and have an ample resource. There are enough decks for a couple of replacement pads and the pads themselves usually travel at least 30 to 40,000 km. If you put non-original components, then the ratio is violated. There were no serious problems with iron tube corrosion and ABS units. Breakage and shafting of the wiring to the ABS sensors and body level tilt sensors occurs regularly, but it is relatively easy and cheap to repair. The suspensions are strong enough if you don't run into holes and bent discs. Most of the trouble with them goes through the Department of Mechatronics. The standard suspension without electronics is almost never found on the E70. Most of the cars are equipped with an adaptive suspension with electronically controlled shock absorbers and air pumping on the rear axle. It is much less common to find cars on a sport suspension without electronics. You cannot be afraid of problems with levers and silent blocks, and components. the components are strong and expensive. The resource of the levers in the, sh in the, form in the front is over 100,000 in the city, and the rear about the same, and half of the levers, and half of the levers have regularly, regularly replaceable silent blocks and hinges. Pneumatics with electronics make a sports car 
from a two-ton car, but the cost of maintenance increases several times, because the electronic components of the suspension do not differ in a special resource, and the price goes off scale. As a result, a lot of half-hearted solutions and for good collective farming with the installation of a di different type of suspension on one of the axles. Steering can be of two types. An ordinary rail is simple and reliable, without any special frills with an adjustable spool. After several years of operation, it knocks quietly, rarely flows, electronics on it fail very rarely. The challenges of adaptive control are far from costly, and they happen a little more often. The price to pay for easy parking and a very sharp steering wheel will be the high price of the rail itself, its server failures and sensor failures. Most of the failures are eliminated purely by software, but sometimes the diagnostics fail, so you have to change several nodes to eliminate the cause of the troubles. Latest updates to the control unit and high-quality service are highly recommended for servicing any the smallest machine malfunctions with this type of steering. Only enough but no special troubles from this side can be expected. More precisely, the cows are quite programmed. It is guaranteed that the gear motor of the front axle connection in the ZF 6HP gearbox fail regularly. Current shafts have a long service life, but they require just as regular maintenance. Unless a surprise in the form of a rear gearbox failure can knock the spoil the soil off from the other from the owner's feet. This usually happens on car with weak diesel engines, especially after a chip tuning, but it can also happen with gasoline supercharged sticks. The rest of the versions have a reinforced gearbox, which is more in line with the potential of the motor. The drives are rather weak, complaints about the lack of lubrication in them and the resulting problems. Overheating and knocking are quite frequent, so before buying it is worth checking the condition of the hinges not only by food but also visually with its removal. If there is a twitching during acceleration and the transmission errors doesn't light up, then most likely at death the blocking of the gas turbine engine but the box is clean. If it twitches when switching, then probably the box will go to the capital immediately. The reason is either wear or a messed oil level due to leaks in the sump, electric harness, oil seals or pump. In any case, the box will have wear on the bullshins and dirt in the weld body. It will not leave for a long time even after adding oil. Stretching the cooling of the automatic transmission can extend its life, as well as frequent oil changes every 40-60,000 km. But this may not help the H box after the first call. Newer 8-speed automatic transmissions still look good. In any case, they are less common in repairs. But with runs already up to 100,000 km, there are instances with full wear of the clutches and the clock mechatronics unit. And repair shops complain about the extremely lightweight design of the automatic transmission, which can deform during disassembly. A common feature of all new families of BMW engines is the extensive use of plastic in critical components, high sensitivity to overheating and extremely tense thermal modes and also complex control systems and a very high sensitivity to the quality of sensors and the operation of electronic body of the motor. The owners are aware of the problem and often change the native oil in intervals of 7000 km, which doesn't fundamentally solve the problem, but reduces the chances of serious consequences. Many people install colder thermostats and modernize the fan control, which almost completely eliminates the chances of an increased oil appetite. However, the complexity of the engine design is high. It has enough problematic units from the electronic throttleness intake, the Venus VANOS phase shifters, to purely resource difficulties with all pump circuits and sensitivity to oil viscosity. When the drive belts of auxiliary units breaks, it often breaks the pipes of the cooling system, and the timing chains have a widespread in resource, from 120 to 250,000 km. The larger engine, 4.8, is also an old familiar N62B48. One of the most successful options in this family, nevertheless, suffers from the same troubles as an N52 engines, with the amendment that there are 8 cylinders and the unit heats up more. An additional feature is not the most successful timing design with a long damper instead of the roller in the center, which reduces the change resource to hundreds of thousands of kilometers and makes it very sensitive to operating temperature. The problems in their solenoids are similar. Many owners are trying to prevent the oil burner by changing the oil more often, but simple measures usually do not help. Complex treatment is needed when with lowering the operating temperature and using other oils. On the restyling, engines with direct injection and turbocharging appeared. They added new ones to the old problems of the N52 and N62 series motors. First of all, this is the difficulty with injectors, which inevitably arises with all engines. There were many types of nozzles, the old revisions were theoretic theoretical changed within the framework of revocable campaigns and under warranty, but this is not done for all machines. Injectors flow, fail, malfunction. Consequences to choose from. 
from water hammer when starting the machine to uneven idle, loss of thrust and burnout of pistons. Their version of the injectors must be checked upon purchase, otherwise there are inevitably ins unnecessary expenses, because of the price of the injectors is from 25,000 rubles plus work, especially hard for injectors on V8 engines with their amazing layout. The Bosch fuel pump suffers from the same problem here as on Volkswagen cars. It can simply under-supply pressure, produce parasitic supply pulsations, etc. The final list of additional surprises from the direct injection is quite long. Whether it overlaps the advantages in the form of loss sensitivity to detonation and a noticeable decrease in fuel consumption, it is up to the owner to decide, but the pill was sweetened with a turbocharger, which gives a serious increase in engine performance. However, it is also not free. The turbines here are acquired and consumable for the X5 even during the warranty period. Engines of the N55 B30 series for cars with an index of 35i have one turbine and an intake system with Velotronic, in contrast to the N54, which were not installed on the E70. In addition, this means that the motor has fewer childhood illnesses, but it also lacks a special margin of safety for boosting. A slightly lower operating temperature relative to N52 slightly improves the situation with coking of the piston group at first, but there is an electric pump in the cooling system, and simply replacing the thermostat to reduce the temperature is not good. You need to intervene in the motor control software. In addition, sometimes the pump fails, and this happens more often than problems with conventional drive pumps. A relatively simple turbocharging system favorably distinguished the engine from the N54, and the resource of the turbine, with careful operation, is quite acceptable for 100-150 thousand kilometers. But with chip tuning and in the event of poor condition of the engine, lubrication system it drops sharply. Many stubbornly change the turbines every second MLT test after 30-45 thousand kilometers, without noticing the essence of the problem. Most of the cars with these engines are still under warranty, and little data on failures comes out. But based on the available information, we can say that it is a lot of hassle, and the service should be comprehensive and thorough. The larger V8 of the N63 B44 series and their M variant S63 B44 also differ in an interesting scheme with the location of the turbines in the collapse of the cylinder block. This means quiet heating of the catalyst and easy access to the turbines. And also a huge number of problems associated with overheating of turbines, engine wiring, cylinder head covers, engine oil seals and gaskets, engine shield and everything connected with them. Plastic parts literally crumble on machines at the age of 2 or 3 years from high temperatures. This is especially unpleasant for parts of the cooling system and electrical wiring. The number of engine failures increases several times. Surprisingly, the more updated M motor has fewer problems due to the lower operating temperature. At least his valve stem seals do not start pouring oil into the cylinders in the air, and therefore the oil oil doesn't grow so rapidly, the catalyst doesn't dive or overheat. But in general, you have to pay for high performance in the most literal sense of the word. Due to the hellish working conditions, the turbines themselves do not withstand. The control system fails, the oil supply hoses are cocked, the plastic of the intake manifolds cannot withstand. And the notorious direct injection nozzles are already 8, not 6, and they work in more severe conditions. The piezoelectric ceramics are sensitive to temperature. Problems are caused by the timing belt with two thin bicycle chains in the drive, which break and jump when worn easily and naturally. In short, such a motor doesn't live happily even after without serious intervention in the design. Even lowering the operating temperature doesn't help much here due to the peculiarities of the layout. The old thermostat cannot cope with the old temperature at all, and at the same time the plastic part of the old system and pipe seals cannot withstand. Diesel engines are a delight for owners of the X5 X70 because the pre-styling models were equipped with the very reliable diesel of the M57 series, which is deservedly considered one of their best engines in recent years. Although on machines with two turbines, all leaks from the supply pipes of the turbines are frequent, and the resource of the timing chains about 160,000 km is no longer guaranteed, although it can reach up to 250,000. The particulate filter can be a hassle, it sometimes doesn't regenerate due to errors. Short runs in engine underheating. It is expensive and is also removed not for a penny. The bolts of the pipe as roller, despite the recall on this model, still sometimes break off. And there are other typical diesel problems, but they are not so common. On the other hand, the engine has a stable piston group resource, doesn't suffer from muscle jorf, or do not have problems with electronic and venous. Doesn't coke all. It pulls perfectly and even with sense serious chip tuning. Although many projects should use EJT sensors, they clearly exceed a reasonable temperature in the combustion chamber, which leads to a decrease in the engine resource. The range of capacities in various versions from 235 to 286 liters. Magic numbers for the Bavarians. 
cars with two turbines of course are much more difficult to maintain, but the total cost of operation against the background of gas and counterparts will be small, especially if you pour the good diesel fuel and regularly change the fuel filters. More fresh engines of the N57 series on restyling are completely new, but also quite strong, and even piezo injectors here are distinguished by their calm character. The boost margin is even higher. Due to their novelty, the motors do not cause much trouble, and most likely they will not differ much from M57 in operation. On this information about the problems of the BMW X5 E70 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.